Hi everyone. Welcome back to the sixth short video and I think this one will be very short on getting started at flexible blended learning. This lean approach to help lecturers that may teach need to teach in a flexible way during COVID and maybe beyond. Okay, this one is just the next steps after listening to those five videos, which are really um, generic videos, you will need to figure out what you need to do next. Okay. Uh, well, the first, th these are the way I'm going to classify it or organize it in terms of what you do next. You need to review this presentation and maybe rather than go back and look at the, vi the videos, I have a document th that goes with this, which is their bit.ly like slash Sligo dual mode. Just copy that, should be easy enough to find. Scan back through that, okay? Now, while you do that, make decisions on any choices that you have, okay? Uh, list the skills that you need to acquire. What is it that you need to learn in order to do the things that you want to do? Okay, now once you've listed those skills, you will need to go and find the training because you may have different tools available to you in your organization than there are, are available in other organizations or in our organizations. Okay. On this second one there with regards to making the decisions, what sort of decisions are you going to make? This just to remind you a little bit of what we've been going over. Will I use third party materials or will I use my own materials? Okay. Uh, when I'm creating materials, can I just get away with PowerPoints or do I need to do some writing or sketching or maybe sharing applications? Because these can affect the skills that you need to acquire. Do I think quizzes are appropriate for want, what I want to do? And as you know, I'm a big fan of quizzes myself, so I would encourage it, but you may not find them appropriate. Okay. Uh, what sort of assignment types will you give them for during the course? Okay. Things to do to sort of embed their knowledge or for, to some extent for you to uh, evaluate their knowledge because you may decide to get rid of that final sum summative exam at the end. When you do give them assignment types, what sort of grading techniques will you use and what sort of tools will be available to you? What do you need to learn there? Okay, um, we did talk about the flipped learning model, which is really they look at the content and then they come to a tutorial. Um, what sort of things will you do in the tutorial? Will you give them problems to do and then you will demonstrate the problems or will you let them take part in discussions? Or will you maybe not have tutorials at all? Maybe you'll just do this asynchronous discussion that I'm so fond of. Okay, there's a lot of skills there. I'm not going to go over these. Okay, these. You might like to pause your video maybe now and have a look at those and consider them. But as I say, I think you might be better going off, go over that accompanying document that comes with this to decide on the skills you need. So this is my final slide here of the six videos, which is just thank you very much for listening to them all. The course document is there. Okay, I'd recommend that you have a look over that and make your decisions and find out what you need to learn. Uh, there are some more videos I'm creating to accompany this uh, that may drill down a bit in more detail in some of the skills. But what you need to do then is find out, find learning materials for the specific tools you're going to need. Okay. Thanks very much for all your attention during this. Good luck.